Hi. Hello, everyone. It's Friday. Yay. We made it. It's, <laughs> it's Friday, a long week. February 3rd. I'm Beth Stevens. Paul Montoric. We have a great guest. Oh, my God. One of our favorites. Totally. Like, literally one of the nicest people ever. Jim Gambatis. Of school. Of we, I, of school, yeah, sorry, School of Rock. Yeah. And uh, she's doing, she has a great album coming out, and she's obsessed with Rodgers and Hammerstein, as am I. And she's doing Listen. a show, for her first show, her first, like, her solo first show. first solo show. Crazy. Hi, look at Jen. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we adore her. But it's also, Jen Kimmatis is, I feel like Jen Kimmatis. She's one of our people. Her okay. career goes along with our journey I at Broadway.com. I was thinking, what's the first thing you saw Jen Kimmatis in? Hairspray. Yeah, she was so good yeah. with that gum. Yeah. Very good with she's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Person. And then Frog and Toad. Yeah, we we we, we, we know been her to, whole thing. We've been to every uh, every Jen Gambitis opening there is. Anyway, yes. so yes. we're thrilled she's here. But yes. there's news. There's, there's a actually lot? a lot of news. There is. Starting yeah. last Should night. Should I start with mine? Go with your thing. Well, yeah, no, you do yours. What was last night? So the, last the night, Trump, what's the Trump news of the day? <laughs> I wasn't going to use the T word. Um, 1984, which you saw in London, didn't you? Yes, I, yes. I saw it in opening night. It's so. Exciting. So it's this like is a, crazy. This is a stage version of the George Orwell classic book. Yes. Um, about a dystopian future. Um, and it's it's created by Robert Ick and Duncan McMillan. And it has a lot of... Um, it is so cool. A lot of projections, mm -hmm. right? Video. Yeah. No, there's a lot oh, of video. video. Big really Brother's cool watching. video work. And a lot of surprises. And, and it totally like grabs you. And it's really high tech. I'm so excited crazy. this is coming. It's one of my favorite books. And I'm sorry I missed it in London. It's opening on June 22nd at the Hudson Theater, and that will make it the first production of Sunday, the new the, season. That's, that's where Sunday in the Park, the Park is now, right. which is a limited engagement, always supposed to close. All right, yeah. let's talk about Sunday in the Park. Oh, that's so... A, that's my segue. Yeah, yeah, like okay, that's a good, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I found out that um, they made a decision to withdraw themselves from Tony consideration. The revival Sunday in the Park. So George Jake Starr Gyllenhaal and, and Annalie Ashford are not... not Tony nominees this year, and you know what? Most likely they would have been. Those are great roles. Of They're course. fantastic. Both times the show's been on Broadway, both leads were nominated. Yes. Uh, but such this is, roles. you know, they made a statement. They just kind of said, we're, we're bowing out of the all of this. And they're all about the art over there at Sunday in the Park just with George. Art. Just and, art uh, and children. And but art. check out the article because I also kind of laid out those acting races because they're crazy, especially lead actor in a musical is crazy. And, you know, I don't want to get everyone all, I don't want to give any, anyone the Tony fever, but I'm starting to get it. I'm getting, yeah. a, I'm getting, a, an, itch my, I'm getting an itch in my throat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can we talk about Audrey McDonald? Why not? Audrey McDonald, <laughs> who our writers keep on We should do that every day. Calling her mama Broadway, which she started, I think. I don't know where that came from. I think I started Yeah, that. you did. Um, she's going to spend the summer in London doing Lady Day. Now, she was supposed to right. do it. Then she had... Sally, baby. <laughs> I was going to name the baby, Sally James McDonald Swenson. Yeah. Love that kid. Right. Um, but now she's actually going to go do it in the West End at Wyndham. She is a woman of her word. Yeah. She said she was going to do it, and, you know, she and got, she's, got that baby going, is. and now she's going to go do it. Yeah, so she's starting on June 17th. She opens on June 27th, and she's going to be there all summer until September 9th. Summer in London. Probably when the kids McDonald. have to go back to school. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right? it's summer break. It's summer great. break. So Audra doing her Billy Holiday thing. Cool. Very cool. Uh, we have a new star taking over the Finding Neverland tour. Correct. Correct. Billy, I'm Billy right. Harrington Teague. Billy Harrigan Teague. Harrigan. <laughs> Harrigan. There's another option. How do you for know? You. His, how do you know how to say his name? I'm just. We could neither. Neither of us could have been right. Just, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Billy. He's taking. He's playing. Oh, George just. George knew this. That Billy was doing Thanks, this. George. Are you guys fans? Of, we don't know his work, but I guess he's doing the Book of Mormon tour right now. Yes, and he has previously done the Wicked tour. Right. So, so he's, he's, he's worn the pants. The he's worn the tight Fiero pants, people. And he's taking over the Finding Neverland pants. Ken Gambatis knows all about the tight Fiero <laughs> pants. From Kevin Kern. <laughs> so he's starting on February 7th in San Francisco. Cool. Which is very cool. That's now, this week. That's this week. It's yeah. next week, but yeah. yes. Yeah, you when know. He, what he it's said. now. He's, he's there now. It's now. He's <laughs> um, so the cast of Sweat was already announced. It's the full yeah. off-Broadway cast from the public theater, except for one person who's not coming, Miriam Shore. Aw, young, Younger's Miriam Shore. Younger's Miriam Shore. Or if you're old like us, Hedwig's Miriam Shore. Hedwig's Miriam Shore. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Alison Wright, who is on The Americans, and she's going to be in the new Ryan Murphy... What, Feud? Feud. <gasps> Love it. As a, with an recurring role, which I don't know which one it is. But anyway, she is taking over the role. Billy was in Pippin, everybody. I knew that. I know who he is now. I just put it all together. Hi, Billy. Oh, my God. I'm 
my head is spinning. So anyway, Alison Wright's taking over for the Miriam Shore role, the role of Jesse in Sweat, which begins on March 4th. And the marquee is up. Yeah, we, we saw it today. It. We walked by it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yen, starring Lucas Hedges, is extending. It was going to be through February 19th at the Lucille Hotel. Now it's through March 4th. I don't, yeah, there's some scary stuff happens in this show. I heard about it and I was like freaked out. But it's supposed to be really exciting. It's a hit. It's a hit. We have an yeah. exclusive look at Bandstand's commercial. Bandstand, but not that Bandstand. No. Um, and I actually, can I tell a secret? I, that's up to you. I spent a couple hours today with Laura Osnes and uh, Corey Cobb. hanging Pop. out with Laura Osnes. Yeah, doing, we were doing some cool video stuff that you guys are going to get to enjoy soon. Yeah. But I love Bandstand. And the commercial Bandstand is really great. great. Really Very great moody. show. Very great moody. score. It's really going to excite a lot of people. I really like it. And the commercial is really cool. Take a look at that. We have the Something Rotten Tour vlog is up. Rob McClure is so good at this. <laughs> I know, he is. He, they, he shows you how, what it looks like to go from Boston to Pittsburgh. I've it's always wanted to know what it's like to go from Boston to Pittsburgh. On tour in Something Rotten. Right. Shows you a sound check. It's really cute. Yeah. Uh, we have a Q&A with Joanna Riding of The Girls in London. That's the Gary Barlow Calendar Girls musical. Oh, I never saw that movie, Calendar Girls. You? No, but it, it, was it, already, it was already a movie and a play, and now this is the musical. Isn't it? It's older ladies getting naked, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. We have pictures of the new. We just sold 18 tickets. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, we have pictures of this new Sweeney Todd cast off Broadway. This, yeah, this is this crazy environmental production with pies and mash. Yep. Um, we have pictures of Miss Glenn Close at the stage door looking. She's back, everybody. Every inch the movie star with her shades on. Norma's back at last. Thank you for singing, Paul. Um, so that's some, some fun pictures, and then we have for our. Culturalist this week, pick your top ten Glenn Close roles. What's your number Fatal one? Attraction. Hello, she boiled the baby. The boiled the bunny. I almost said Spoiler. baby. That would have been even <laughs> the worse. baby bunny. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we have the full track of Ariana Grande and John Legend singing the title track to Beauty and Thank the Beast. Thank God. Finally. We're waiting for it. We have a fresh face with Jack McKenzie of the present. She plays a wackadoodle role, and John Lithgow. Is she did have a wackadoodle role. I just put it put together. Put it all together. John, John Lithgow, who has two Tonys. Do you want to tell us what they're for, Paul? Sweet smell of success. Correct. And his Broadway debut in The World According to Garp. The Changing Room. <laughs> he got yeah, a, I think he got an Oscar room. nomination for that, though. I think he did. Yeah, uh, he's know. joining the cast of Pitch Perfect. With Glenn Close. Sorry. Time yes, she was in that. Yes. She, he's joining the cat, cast of Pitch Perfect. Oh. So you want three. Pitch Perfect three. Three, sorry. Obviously. You made it sound like it's Pitch Perfect the musical, which has not happened yeah, yet. It does have probably music. will. Yeah, yeah, just wait. Just Broadway's wait. second a cappella music. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you having a fun Friday? I'm going to get out of here because Jen Gambatis is here. You know what? Happy hours upstairs in our office, and I have not been there. You but it not, looks like I have. You don't so. need to. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Beth. Bye, everyone. You have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to scoot over. Jen Gambatis. All right. Ooh, applause. Hi. Hi, buddy. I'm obsessed with this thing. How are it's the sound machine? From Target. Today. Yeah, I'm going to get you one. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, my God. You look so cute. Aww. You're like always pulled together. <laughs> oh, I don't know about uh, that. Always looking good. I'm going to try for the, you guys. Yeah, you're like the, the best trust mom on Broadway. Thank you. How, how are you? How's life? I'm good. Life is good. I'm super excited. I've you're made super an busy. album. I'm super busy. So we've talked about this a while ago. You, so you've been working on this album. Yes. And it is all Roger Hammerstein, correct? All, yeah, 19 What's it songs. Called? It's called Jen Gambatis, Cockeyed Optimist. And it's on Are you one? Records. I am. Yeah. Oh, don't you think you have to be nowadays? <laughs> like, otherwise, you would be in the pit of despair. So it's actually very timely. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah. So and you've been working on it for a while, and it's all right. So, like, what are some songs? So it's 19 songs. Um, wow, it's a lot. Game. It is. And bonus tracks. Bonus tracks. I love it. I know. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of the R and H songs are not super long. So, mm. um, but we've got like you know the biggies from some of the. What's music your favorite track on it? Do you know my favorite track is actually "It Might as Well Be Spring" from State Fair, which um, is you know it's yeah. more of a standard really than uh, a show tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good it's one. It's really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, but I've got great duets. I've got Matt Bogart does um, "Some Enchanted Evening" with me. Nice. Mary Testa does what? "My Favorite Things" with me. Fun. It's really great. Um, Gavin Creel, my good buddy, he does "Something Good" from Sound of Music. 
and Jeff Crady, we do, um, oh, it's a, it's one of the lesser known ones, No Other Love. From I saw you in Carousel with Jeff Crady. Yeah, yeah, he yeah was, and he's yeah. going to be in the concert next you got, Okay, so that okay. was a good segue. Oh, right. So you are also, I mean, you're in School of Rock, which is a full-time job. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's the first full-time job. Being yeah. a mom of two is the second full-time okay, job. Yeah. Or maybe actually vice versa. Yeah, maybe the other way. But, um, so you're putting together a show. Yeah. And then you're doing it in conjunction with the album. The album comes out next week. And the show is on Thursday? Thursday the 9th. Okay, it's Thursday a Rodgers and Hammerstein Valentine. Aww. Yeah. And so it's going to be songs from the album mostly? Um, mostly, but then there are other things that are not on the album. So it's kind of like treats. Oh, yeah. oh treats. Mix it up a little. Yeah, mixing it up. And you have yeah. special guests. I do. I so, so Jeff Crady's doing that one. His wife, Nikki Renee Daniels. Oh, is they're both so talented. Allison Luck, my Elphaba. Is oh. And Tally Sessions. Well, Leah said you were my first touring Glenda. I was. <laughs> I feel like that's a thing in the wicked world. Like, to be the first. first. <laughs> to be the first, yeah. Yeah, I mean, mine are the first, but now younger people. Uh, you know. Right. <laughs> the, the, like the actually old school gangster first. <laughs> uh, people got very excited. You said Allison Luck. Oh. Um, so, oh, will you be returning to, Lu Lucy says we'll be returning to your Sound and Music slash Carousel days at all in your concert. Yes, You did I like do. big productions of both. You did Carousel twice. Carousel twice, once at Good Speed. One in a theater that's bigger than one in a theater that. I know, it was so <laughs> wild. So yeah, I did it at Good Speed and Ly Lyric Opera of Chicago and there is selections from, from Carousel on the album and in the concert and same as Sound and Music. Well, thank you for including that. You know it's my favorite show, so thank you for that. I yeah. appreciate. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. There's a, there's. A, I know you're not able to make it next Thursday, but there's a little bonus that you'll love the video footage of. What? Of Carousel. That's just like a surprise. I, I, I'm, in, I'm trying to make it next week. Oh, you know, life gets really busy this time I of know, year. I know. I uh, know. Uh, Lauren wants to know what advice would you give teenagers who have a dream of being a musical theater professional? I'm sure you get this a lot. I do. And I'm sure at the stage door and like just well, yeah, what do you, what do you tell people? What's your so go-to advice? So here's my go-to advice for all of you younger folks that are interested in doing this. Definitely focus on your craft, but don't forget about learning all kinds of stuff because mm -hmm. as an actor, you're more valuable when you're just kind of well-rounded so that really everything you study history sociology I mean in a strange way even math like you know oh I don't want to learn math I know but it, but there, there's math is a lot about like relationships in a weird way oh. so I mean okay. me. I'm like, like a spokesperson for yeah the, most, the more well-rounded you are the, the better actor you yeah can or what if you get in person. proof what if you what if you were going to be cast in the play proof like you it would be good if you knew the math we actually had a great she was on show people when you first went into school, and we had a great talk about career, so you should watch that. That was fun. That you, was you, you, you have a, an interesting career path, and like you, I like your advice, and I like your sort of perspective on everything. Thanks. Uh, but now, so that was when you first joined School of Rock, so how is it now that you're like, what, six, no, you're not six months, yeah, you came like, in August, yeah. yeah like six months it's, in -ish. It's so great, it's so awesome, and I'm like the veteran now. Oh, how are the new kids? Oh, all new the kids. new There's kids, a lot of new kids are great, and my new Dewey, Eric Peterson's great, Every, it's like, it, they're completely their own flavor, like we miss everybody who left, and, and but the new people are, it's it's great. Are you good at learning kids' names, like new kids' names? Yeah, I am, I am, and I had to be from when I did Sound of Music, because at Lyric ah. Opera, we had not only the seven Von Trapps, but their seven understudies. So that was like oh, my priority, um, even before my, to learn my the kids lines. Names. Yeah. <laughs> um, I should uh, be a motivational speaker. Yeah, I know, that's what I was about to say. Lauren said you should be a motivational speaker. What am I well-rounded in? <laughs> oh, that, that's a good question. Lucy. Wait, I have a better question. Okay. I mean, I'm, you're, well, she's well rounded in a lot of things. Uh, Nicole <laughs> wants to know, since you're in an Andalite Weber musical now, yeah. are there any other of his shows you would like to do? Oh. Have you thought of any of his other, his other roles? Well, um, like, down the line, Sunset would be, like, uh -huh. incredible. I mean, that's that's the role. Um, do you ever sing, like, Norma Desmond songs in the shower? I mean, I haven't in a while, but I'm sure I, I did. I would love to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just be, you know, ready for your close-up and all that and the grand. You should do that the final moment yeah. from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Um, I don't know, I, uh, that narrator in Joseph, that's oh. a big thing. I feel like that show has to come back soon, right? It's I been, would think they were, it was while. on tour with okay. um, Diana DeGarmo and right, 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 right. Carlotta. Oh, Carlotta. Sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alec wants to know: Did Sierra give you Sierra Vargas played the role before you uh, in School of Rock? Did she give you any advice about playing Rosalie? Not really about playing Rosalie, but she gave me some great words of wisdom for just sort of like the company and like you know 
because you're not just playing the part, but you're also stepping into a leadership role in the theater, and she's so great at that. And talk about a motivational speaker. Like, she's just yeah. so yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Namaste, namaste. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Billy asks, how did you get involved in Hairspray? Now, you you were in the original cast of Hairspray. Yeah. And Billy. you were in it overall how long? Well, I was I in the original... Do... Okay, I'll tell you yeah, the story. Ahead. So, I did the original reading of it. Um, I remember it was when Rob Marshall was at the helm of it. Did you oh, even know wow. that? Yeah, in the readings phases. I forgot. Yeah, and um, I went in to audition and I sang. So Rob Marshall cast you. Rob Marshall cast me. Interesting. Yeah, in okay. the first reading. Yeah, maybe. Does he ever watch this? Hi, Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob, what's up? <laughs> How's it in Hollywood? What's your next movie musical? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember I sang My Guy, and um, and at the end, I, I can't believe I remember this. I went. I know he's black and his name is Seaweed, but mama, I swear he's all I need. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's so sweet. And I remember Harvey was at that audition. Like, it was the very first audition for the very first reading. Wow. And a bunch of us, a bunch of the original nicest kids in town, we did every reading. We did a reading every six months for like two years. Wow. And then we went to Seattle. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and the fourth, I think it was the fourth reading that. Jack O'Brien came on board because Rob was doing Chicago. Was it Chicago? Was the first one? I don't know. The movie, yeah. Yeah, that absolutely. was that would have yeah. been what it was. Yeah. Um, That's right. And, yeah. And then, um, and actually, we had a, a series of, you know, different actors in different roles. And um, Corey Reynolds, yeah. he was in the ensemble with us. Seaweed. And then the four, and then the last reading, he's like, "Give me a shot. Give me a shot." Wow, yeah. that's just like Matt Morrison too. Yeah, yeah, Matt Morrison yeah, was in Matt, the ensemble. Yeah, up until we started until rehearsals. You were in rehearsals, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like the whole, what, what about? Uh, did you watch like Harvey on Hairspray Live? And, oh yes. And you had some some other like friends on sure, there. Sure, the original Dynamite. I know. I saw Judine. Hi Judine. Hi. I saw Judine at uh, Broadway Con. Oh yeah. Looking she, fabulous. Always, always. Always I'm fabulous. Remember, wait, since she was Cindy Watkins, like so we all in Hairspray we had like our backstories. So if you weren't a nicest kid, like the uh -huh. Motormouth kids, they had their names. So Camila was Peach's Honey Girl. What? I and, didn't know all um, Yeah, and Shayna was Pearl. Um, I forget Pearl's last name. And, and, and Judine was Cindy Watkins. And they did got to do Hairspray Live, which was really cool. Yeah, that was really the, fun. The original. And they nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. By the way. Nailed it. Uh, okay, so your show is on Thursday. We have to go. Yeah. Your okay. show is Thursday, and are there still can people still get in? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and cool. if you go to it's at seven. It's at seven Thursday the ninth at seven, and if you do Gen G five at um, fifty four below, you get five bucks off. Oh, um, code. you got a code. I got a code. How does it feel to have a code? It feels really cool to have a code. <laughs> <laughs> it feels. It feels. Oh, it doesn't feel funny. It doesn't feel funny. I don't know. Keep if, going. Here we go. It feels. It feels. Six <laughs> I do you not know many times I hit the laugh on by accident. And yeah. then it takes so long. It's a long laugh. It's a long laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so your album's coming out next week. People can look for it on, and they can follow you on social media. Yeah, follow me. I'm, I'm, I'm Jen Gambatis. I was Jen Gamby, and then we're like, it's just easier. I'm Jen Gambatis. Like, I'm just going to be an adult now. I'm just going to be a grown no, up. No more nicknames. I know, but I still sign my I'm name that way. I'm a mom. What do you, you sign what? Jen Gamby. You Two do? Two letters. Yeah, it's just less. <laughs> easier. It's less. It's easier to less is y, more. Right? Yeah. Easier to end the Whoosh. Y, Gamby. Um, yeah, and, and, and my website's getting redesigned, oh, cool. and um, you can get hard copies of the CD on my website, which have beautiful pictures. And that photo, the album you shot at, tell me where you shot that. Oh, yeah, all the pictures in the album I shot at Highland Farm, which is uh, was Ro Oscar Hammerstein's home, and now it's a bed and breakfast in Doylestown, yeah. and it's so beautiful. And you're wearing like a beautiful, it's, be it's gorgeous. It's pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. Do you like dressing up like that? Yeah, rent the runway. Get that <laughs> <plug>. <laughs> so you can see, you can get the album, you can see it Thursday at... Feinstein slash 54 Below. That's and right. she's at the Winter Garden Theater uh, playing Rosalie Mullins in School of Rock. And she's awesome, by the way. I saw it. I saw it happen. She's amazing. And I adore her. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having uh, me. I'm going to give you a round of applause. Not and a laugh. We'll, I'll have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday at 5.